with me. I'm so bad about holding on to expired things. Just last night, I tried to order a pizza with a debit card from 2008. Even then, I didn't throw it away. I just put it in the bag. My boyfriend is in the doghouse. I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there. I gotta take a shit. I'm worried about Brittany. I wish she'd stop worrying about her looks. There's not a single girl that wouldn't trade tips with her. Ambient dialogue is Hey again, how's it going? Oh, she is just adorable walking around in that little bumblebee outfit. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to see what's underneath it. That'll just be our little secret, though. <laughs> Hello again. Thanks, but I'm good. This scenery suits me pretty well for now. Hello again. Real mature there, guy. to me, but I do question sometimes- Fuck off, dude. I am loyal to a fault, but I gotta make sure I reach my- I woke up next to Scoutmaster Diego. It was a good turning point for me because I never drank again. I did manage to get it there. I'd be nervous leaving my phone around like that. Maybe I should tell her. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. I, I guess it is her house. What's going on? Good to see you again. Nah, not feeling it. Don't really know if you slow me down or some shit. Prove yourself, and then maybe, maybe. Oh, for real? Is his position under siege? Oh wait, is he already engaged in brutal fisticuffs? Does he need to take five for a moment of relaxing interpretive dance? Eh, doesn't matter. Later. Family jewels. I, well, not like all about them. I don't know them intimately or anything, or him. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? I guess I could take a break from dancing for a few minutes. Where do you want to go?
Hey again, stranger. How's it going? You mean like a doctor or a nurse? Hmm, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Aren't doctors like really smart? People always call me an airhead, which is so weird to me because every human being consumes roughly 550 liters of oxygen every day, which is exactly why huffing stuff is so fun. But airheads can't be doctors, I don't think. I guess I'll think about it, but I'm leaning towards no. I get what you're saying, and I guess you're right that I do know a lot of stuff about the human body and pills and not overdosing and whatever, but I don't think a medical profession is right for me. Come on, let's just kick back and not think about the- Hey again, stranger. How's it going? She's like super smart. If I could have copied off her in grade school, I would have been like a straight A student. Well, I guess. I just like making people happy, and usually pills do that. And fucking. Oh, and fucking while on pills. Pills are just really, really great. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do like helping people, making them feel better. Plus, the human body is pretty fascinating if you think about it. Trophy for it. This might sound weird, but I love a man. How's it going, brah? Any luck finding painkillers? Eh, maybe later, brah. I know it might not be obvious to the outsider's eye, but all of my choices, including where I am... No way, brah. Thanks for tipping me off to it. Frank's... Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. Don't go to Chubby's when I'm working. The last thing you want from a topless bar and grill is recognizing the face above the I'm stronger physically, enlightened mentally, and I can control my emotions unless I need to weaponize them. Trust me, there's a lot of shit going on up there. Lots of pent up energy. How would you ever blow a gasket or something? He has no morals whatsoever. So, how are you doing? Legends tell of an awesome bra who managed to hide alcohol all around the house, away from Frank's prying eyes. Legends. OMG, you found my phone. Thanks so much. My, aren't you a bold one? I suppose you did sort of save the day. I'll tell you what. Help me play a prank on my sister, and there might be more than just a kiss waiting for you when we're done, if you catch my drift. Okay, so here's the deal. I already accidentally spilled some beer all over Ashley. I locked my clothes away so she can't find something else to wear. My plan is to first get her to think her only option is to strip down and wash her clothes. Once we have her clothes in the washer, then we just need to force her out and parade her around naked to all of the party guests. Talk to Ashley and see if you can get her to trust you enough to take her clothes and wash them. Then figure out a way to get her out of wherever she decides to hide. Stop asking me about school. It's going fine. Notice me, sensei. A handful of hay keeps the doctor at bay. I wonder if any of these people got dough. Could be some potential investor. Making hot chicks dance, and the buffets are also really good. When Frankie's fuck around club becomes a dude, can you believe Patrick got knocked out in the middle of our party? Like, I know my cousin is an idiot dickhead perv, but Patrick means who's saying that intergalactic? Hey again, how's it going? I won't listen to anybody trying to get this. Ugh, my stupid sister Madison spilled beer all over me. I know she did it on purpose too, even though she'd never admit it. Right now I'm dripping wet, so I need to figure out a way to dry off. How long do these kind of parties last? Could I go ahead and slip out? I think everybody's seen me. Your Frankie's fuck around club is going to be the best thing to ever happen to this town. You watch. We're gonna have the best strippers, fighters, 
and strip fighters this world has ever seen. If you want a ticket to the grand opening, you let old Frankie know. I prefer cash, but I also accept Visa, MasterCard, and dude coin. I keep getting this really weird feeling tonight like I've been here before. It's kind of hard to explain. Almost like I've seen these exact scenarios play out with... Aw, you'd help me? Well, right now I'm dripping wet. I need to dry off these clothes somehow. Madison wasn't too thrilled with the idea, but still working on it. I think she'll warm up to it by the end of the night. Time and time again, I get the feeling I'm only invited to do things because of the people that I know. Oh, thanks. That's really sweet. Got arrested. I only supply. You don't arrest the jockey when the horse dies from an overdose of a combination of cocaine and Alka-Seltzer. At least, they didn't in the case of my cousin, Little Corbin. Oh yeah, Madison is super freaky. You have no idea. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Holy shit! I tell you what we gotta do. We gotta conduct ourselves a sting operation. Here's the plan. I'll give you a head start, and then I'll come and find you in one minute. See if you can get whoever it is to confess about having some alcohol on them when I walk by, and then I'll take it from there. If not, I'll just go back on patrol. We're better. During my security sweep of the house, I found a safe in Madison's closet. I demanded the codes so I could search for foods, but she wasn't there. Why would I even go to college for that? I meet everybody through school pretty much, except for Frank. I met him at a gun show. Ugh, hey, how's our plan going? My signal is shit here. How am I supposed to make my boyfriend's life miserable if I can't send him recordings of me acting like I don't give a fuck about this pathetic, petty bullshit and doing shit that pisses him off? Okay, so here's the deal. I already accidentally spilled some beer all over Ashley. I locked my clothes away so she can't find something else to wear. My plan is to first get her to think her only option is to strip down and wash her clothes. Once we have her clothes in the washer, then we just need to force her out and parade her around naked to all of the party guests. Talk to Ashley and see if you can get her to trust you enough to take her clothes and wash them. Then figure out a way to get her out of wherever she decides to hide. God, this body cell surface is so annoying. It took me 12 tries to get one fucking message to go through. And all it was was a shruggy bird emoji. Hey, how's our plan going? I love sending those after he babbles on about how I hurt his feelings. She's up to something, I know it. Typical little sister, right? I'm kind of nervous though, because this is my party, and if she pulls something here, it would be really embarrassing for me. Um, this is obviously a remix. Every single time, the same fucking song. What? Oh no, the house came mostly furnished already. It was really strange. No, no, no. They're not as big as you think. They're bigger. I can't stand that bullshit. That's why I only invited my friend who's known to never cause problems ever. Don't interrupt me when I'm or ask me I 
can't believe my buddy came. Seriously, I can't believe it. They usually only meet people who are around with the family. Or if that part of Rick's list, you don't like to talk about. Dude, there's nothing I won't do to see a solid pair of tips. Lots of pent up energy. If I were to ever blow a gasket or something. Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? Me, you, sneaking off to some area unknown, possibly poorly lit? Absolutely. So, where to? benching an old washing machine with two toasters inside of it. Damn, man. Before you know it, you'll be lifting a dryer filled with cinder blocks like- Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? Nah. A raccoon lives inside the dryer. I think he got into the detergent because he's got all this foam around his mouth. He didn't like it when I lifted the dryer. Hey, is it hot in here to you? Madison suggested I stay in the garage for most of the party, so not to frighten the guests. It smells like sex, like everywhere around this place. Did you need something? Yes. Did you need something? All right, I admit, it's a little more complicated than my boyfriend just being a dick. He's really, really into biking everywhere as a couple. And before you ask, no, not Harleys and hotties on highways, more like Schwinn's in sweaty crotches on sidewalks. Look, I'll be the first to say it, I don't think I should be covered in sweat just so our planet can prolong its inevitable demise by a few measly minutes. If my projections are correct, we'll be colonizing Mars by 2041 anyway. And on Mars, I won't have to call anybody my spandex daddy. Oh yeah, he wears one of those stupid, stretchy, full body speed suits anytime we hit the road. He's just praying that someone asks him about it so he can draw on about his bike. As we were getting geared up tonight, I just couldn't deal. Just the way the spandex morphed around his ass crack. Blah. We got in a huge fight. I put on normal people clothes and I took a ride share over here. Well, the fight wasn't the worst part. This is a two part bummer. But yeah, thanks. Ugh, how about this? If you can get me something to drink, I'd be glad to share more. Did you need something? I don't drink any of that beer and wine shit. Give me a good old shot of rum any day over that other crap. I'm not saying another peep about my boyfriend bullshit until you get me something to drink. 
Did you need something? Hey, how's our plan going? What? That fucking asshole! I'll be right back. Dad is here! Brrr, brrr. These flip flops make it incredibly hard to mingle. It's only a matter of time until I stub my toe again. You have the time? I have to make a call to my brother, and his time is very restrictive. It feels surreal moving away from all of my friends and favorite hangout spots and having to start all over. I'm trying to impress this sorority so I can get a few more free friends, but some of their Hey, how's our plan going? Kind of weird and borderline unachievable. Bros before hoes, man. I live Sure. I'm not really into giving big fancy tours, but let me know where you want to go and we can hang there a bit. See if everyone's behaving, you know, essential hostess duties. She looks kind of nervous tonight. Do you know what's going on with her? Every time we make eye contact, she just smiles and looks away. Oh shit, I have a missed call from my brother. I hope everything's okay. Um, should somebody do something about how drunk Patrick is? I'm pretty sure he's gone at this point. Earlier he asked me if I knew where his pants were, and he's wearing them. You see that giant billboard that the city put up right outside of Madison's neighborhood? I can hear the drum from here. I'm gonna wrap my head in aluminum foil or something. And the last thing I will say about that is... Back in Rhode Island, I had tons of backyard bonfires with my friends. We loved to relax and chat about life, our dreams, and philosophy. If it was chilly in spring or autumn, sometimes my mom... How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? To this day, hot chocolate still brings so many memories rushing back. <laughs> Sorry. I kind of zoned out thinking about all that. I'm fine. How are you? Man, I would love to bust the moves out on the dance floor, but this music. Maybe if they put on some real jam, I might throw Dude, she's so hot. I'd give my left nut for a night with her. I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there. I've got to take a shit. I try to clean up for the party as best as I could, but I'm sure there are all kinds of things lying around everywhere that I didn't get a chance to put away. I swear that- I'm gonna fuck his shit up. I better not find out anybody's been stealing shit. Derek and Madison? I don't think so. He's too soft. But then again, Madison's last boyfriend worked at Crafty Cup. Maybe thought he'd still be One way I love to mess with Ashley is by finding the most god awful decor to hang up around the house. 
I mean, what's the worst that can happen? She'll leave? I wouldn't consider that a bad thing. <laughs> I can't Hyper wait to prescriptions are super home. easy to get. Just talk to just the staircase. Staircase. Dude, watching over this What's party is so fucking tiring. I, I pulled an all-nighter last night to watch this cam girl know. playing with her new titty clamps while her boyfriend railed her from behind. I'm fucking drained, dude. Why are you finds even a thing? How can you get better at fighting? Lots of ways. Like, like oh, I don't know. Fucking exercise? Hey, how's her plan going? And don't forget supplements. There's plenty you can eat or drink to recover after a workout. Keep your reflexes sharp or build muscle. And most importantly, you gotta be ready for anything. Take risks. Discover stuff about the world, yourself, and possible enemies. You never know what actions get. And other people seeing me. When the mood strikes me? Dude, can you believe Patrick got knocked out in the middle of our party? Like, I know my cousin is an idiot dickhead perv, but Patrick means well. It's just the alcohol getting to him. Hey, dude, my fucking booze stash has been raided. This means war, and I need you to be my- I seriously kill for a smoke of something right now. Once I get some booze in me, there's oh, no on up there. Lots of pent up energy. If I were to ever blow a gasket or something, it could be dangerous to- How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? How are you doing? Believe me, I'm so- so bad about holding on to expired things. Just last night, I tried to order a pizza with a debit card from 2008. Even then, I didn't throw it away. I just put it in the desk. Wow. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. But I bet Big Balls really. Sorry, dude. But I don't trust you enough. Me How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Again, I get the feeling I'm only invited to do things because of the people that Leah? Are. Oh yeah, she's my apprentice. She's a good kid. I invited her along as backup tonight. I've even got her calling me Sensei. I haven't checked in with Sensei Frank in like 10 minutes. I'm telling you, there's something sinister about that thing. It's not that you guys have to be completely sober. It's that I don't want you getting too Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? You're right, I like totally forgot about her. I didn't mean to. She's just, well, it's hard to stand out when you're locked away like that. You do that? Like, you're pretty fucking awesome. And to think I was thinking of ways to steal your credit card information. Only kidding. But I mean, if you want to write those numbers down. <laughs> hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? I can't believe my buddy came. Seriously, I can't believe it. They usually only meet people through the realm of rebellion or through that part of Rick's list that people don't like to talk about. Tonight is so much fun. I really needed this. My mom keeps saying I need to think about my future. But I just want to keep on dancing and not think about adulting and responsibilities like ever.
nature of party. Just go ahead and text her when you can. No rush. We can't party all night, you know. Unless that's what Vicky wants to do, <laughs> then I'll totally party all night. Anybody here watch public access? I'm um, about to find one of those time slots, you know. It's teaching basic combat techniques. So if you guys want to learn the best way to kick someone in the head, I could be the one to show you that every Tuesday at 3 a.m. Ambient dialogue is what Of course, nobody without training is going to win a fight against Sensei Frank. I can probably train somebody to beat him, though, if I was properly motivated. I can't see that happening, though. Sensei Frank and I are tight. Please don't get Derek going with the dancing thing. I mean, not that it wouldn't be fun. It actually is pretty good, but he gets way too competitive. He starts trash talking and shit. I just want everything to run smoothly tonight and for everybody to get along. I'm not saying I don't believe in aliens, but I'm also most definitely not not saying that either. It could be worth it. And the last thing I want to do. Of their existence. Could I be Sensei Frank in a fight? I've never thought about it. He's taught me so much, and he plans to help me start my studio. That means the world to me. I don't think I could ever see myself hurting him. I guess Derek really wanted to bring his friend along to my party tonight. Is it mean, or is it rude to extend a party invite to your own friends? It's totally rude, you're right. I'll let Vicky know that she should definitely not swing by tonight. Oh, Rachel! I didn't see you standing there. No, it's totally cool if Vicky comes. Seriously, I was just kidding. Yeah, Leah was a colorful fight thing. I can't sleep, damn bitch is crying. Can you feel that chokehold tightening? <laughs> Professor's desk. Oh, if he thought his face was red, you should have seen mine when I realized that my mom. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Ah, uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves.
really keep too much money on me. I only brought like $50 tonight, and that's mainly to pay for my ride home. I should probably be like... If you want a ticket to the grand opening, you let old Frankie know. I prefer cash, but I also accept Visa, MasterCard, oh, No, Stephanie, and I'm so coin. sorry that happened to you. That sounds awful. trying my hand at some of those battle doing? royal games. I'm, uh, I'm shit at them. Getting my ass kicked by 12 year olds, not my style. Look, but don't touch, sweetie. Yeah, I've been having to do at home tutoring to get through my Spanish class. My teacher's been don't totally out to get me right. since I accidentally called him Gordo instead of Guapo. And I, I mean, how would I supposed to know the difference? The words are basically identical. <gasps> Is it true that dinosaurs roamed the earth only 64 years ago? Why are yeah, I've been taking contemporary <laughs> dance classes in my free time. Most contemporary dance shares the same rules as Brazilian capoeira or Japanese Aikido. Dude, I'm pretty much learning another method of fighting if you think about it. Yeah, medicine and me are just fine. Hey, did you see the game the other night? Dude, there's nothing I won't do to see a solid pair of tits. I once ran head first into a concrete wall because a chick told me I get to see her lovelies after. But when I came to, she was gone. I somehow forgot what my parents looked like. These are my people. I'm pumped that we're all under the same roof for the first time in what feels like forever. I used to drink when I was younger. But then, I woke up next to Scoutmaster Diego. It was a good turning point for me because I never drank again. I did manage to get a deep throat badge out of the whole thing, though. Personally, I think it's bullshit that it's cool to be a nerd now. When I was in high school wearing wicked hats and lawn painting, I got my motherfucking ass beat. Now d d is hip and shit. I won't listen to anybody trying to get this booze. Except, except maybe that Catherine shit. I like the way she operates. Just being a fucking giant bitch to everybody. <laughs> It's sexy shit, though. Bros before hoes, man. I live by that code. I have a lot of respect for somebody who can put their money where their mouth is when they say it. I've been fucked over too many times by people I thought were my friends. Listen, though. I'm not sitting in this hard-ass chair. Hey again, how's it going? Hey again, how's it going? It's gonna sneak past me and drink any of that devil's elixir. Anybody fucking tries, and they'll be dead before their fingers touch the bottle. I wish I could 
wish more people were dancing. I love dancing so much. I've gotten at least three concussions from trying to dance all night and spontaneously passing out. What? Don't look at me all judgy like that. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? I guess I could take a break from dancing for a few minutes. Where do you want to go? Yeah. Oh, baby. I was just saying how, like, we need more bodies on the dance floor. Woo! Let's light it up. Look at that. Maybe I really do know how to throw a party. Even the new guy is having fun. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? You know what? Fuck it. You seem pretty cool. Sure. So, first thing, make sure... Hey again, stranger. How's it going? I guess I could take a break from dancing for a few minutes. Nice package. What's a party without a little nudity, right?
Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? <laughs> Are you joking? Calling that a nice art room is like calling a homeless camp a music festival. That right there, that's the room devoted to feeding my sister's delusion. Just like with that made-up astrology she buys into, or that time she fucked the Lou Diamond Phillips impersonator, Madison is doing this for attention. Artists are cool and free spirits. Naturally, Madison's gonna try to be an artist. Then she can post all about it online and soak in the thumbs up and well done. It's not art. She is not an artist. <sighs> That's what happens when I no longer have a place to center my zen. Serenity, Ashley, serenity. <sighs> now, very calmly, I would like to express that Madison is shit at art and that that room was much better suited as my yoga studio slash meditation chamber where I could smoke weed undisturbed than it will ever be as a hack's gallery of delusion. Do whatever you will. I'm going to find something large and made of glass that I can smash because that's inner peace, motherfucker. Namaste. What's my favorite thing about this town? I don't know. Maybe the good weed? Do you have any, by the way? Don't you wonder why there's a pile of fresh dirt in the backyard? Like, Looks who a lot keeps like a, a cell phone jammer lying around? Why are there so many natty lights conveniently? Hey, how's our plan going? I can't be the only one who feels like something's off here. Oh, my rather simplistic setup is hardly a true studio, per se. I like to call it my bohemian oasis. A place I can abscond to and escape from the mundanity of our everyday lives. And yes, while I do like to paint up there, it's only because I need to express my frustrations with the world, lest it overcome me and suck away my artistic spirit. Painting is the best way for me to positively release my qualms with modern society and the man. <laughs> Never you mind your pretty little head with the struggles of an artist. Actually, pretty little head indeed. You know, you could be the missing piece of my portfolio. Nothing like that. I'm simply noting that you're a beautiful human. I'm going to be sending my work off to a local gallery soon in hopes that I can get a showing. But they required the portfolio to have a painting of a human model. A nude human model. Oh my! So full of passion for my craft! Okay then, first things for- First things first is that you're gonna take a step back, friend. If anybody's going to model- Derek, whoa. You would model for me? Even- We can deal with all of that later, Madison. We got- Hmm. Here's what we'll do. Madison, come on. I mean- No more time to chat sex. Like, everywhere around this place. What have you been up to? I guess Derek really wanted to bring his friend along to my party tonight. Is it me, or is it rude to extend a party invite to your own friends? Speaking at least. Just a lucky bastard who struck gold by pedaling away from all of my friends and favorite hangout spots, and having to start all over. 
I'm trying to impress this sorority so I can get a few more- Hi, hi! I'm Letty, Ashley Spanish tutor. Ashley DM me asking me to come over for an emergency tutor session. But I had no idea it would be a group session. I've never done groups before. I'm sure I can handle it. So, ¿cuál es tu nivel de español? It's Spanish, silly. Oh boy, that's okay. I guess we all gotta start somewhere. Thankfully, I brought a whole bunch of cool teaching materials with me. I've noticed that Ashley responds well to things she can actually touch and drink. It's a hard balance making sure she retains most of the lesson before blacking out. Man, I knew something was up. I'm such a fucking loser. Like, emergency tutoring session? The fuck is that? Sounds stupider every time I say it. So, you were saying this is a house party? Oh, that's cool. Totally cool. Muy bueno. I'm a party animal. Like, whenever I go to a house party, I turn that party into dope sickness. Uh no, just ready to get funky. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. <laughs> Two hops this time. It's fine. Everything's fine. Here, take this box of poppers. I use them when Ashley's getting distracted from the lesson. The pop they make really makes her focus because she thinks there's a drive-by. But since there's no lesson, the last thing I need is one of them falling out of my pocket and everybody thinking Letty the party animal is packing heat. Alright, thanks. See you soon, fellow party person. What's up? Whoa, no pressure or anything. Well, I'm Letty, you know that. I've got a YouTube channel, Letty Does Stuff. Maybe check that out. And I've been told I can be a little naive. Oh, I also really like meeting new people. That's not too cliche, is it? But yeah, I do stuff. All right, quick rundown. I brought a bottle of Mexican liquor called El Scorpion Mezcal, a bottle of some of the hottest chili peppers found south of the border, and a talking sombrero-wearing fish. If you need to know more about one of them, just ask. <laughs> That's sleazy Sancho, the shit-talking sucker fish. Didn't you ever have one of those singing fish you could hang from the wall when you were growing up? Well, in Mexico, Sancho hangs on all the walls. Well, because he speaks in... Oh, wait. All right. What do you want to know about? Ah, Mama Chupacabra's Chili Peppers. A delicacy. I only reward my best students with a taste of these babies. That's weird though. Not everybody likes the very real, very painful sensation of your throat melting as much as I do. Well, cause they're grown in Mexico! Immerse yourself in the culture, am I right? But I've heard rumors that they actually grow them in Louisiana. Those Cajuns know two things. Gator hunting and chili growing and cousin fucking. Three things. All right, what do you want to know about? It's not just any booze, it's, well, most great tutors. All right, what do you want to know about? Ugh, flashcards are so boring. Plus, just think about what the developers would do with that. Hey, Letty, we're gonna give you flashcards, and every time the player gets a question right, you flash them. Come on, we're better than that. Mix it up a little! Oh, lo siento. Sometimes I have these visions that I'm not from here. What were we talking about? Hello, hello. Dude, I've already told you. 
Hey, Brittany told me you were messing around on my computer. What gives? And now I see that Letty's here? Are you trying to get me to fail Spanish? Letty is adorable, really she is, but I've come to notice during our tutor sessions that she's very, very, very gullible. Listen, Letty's your response. Excuse me, Miss Lady. I don't think you've got time to make any more. Boner pills before the party. I've had an erection for like. Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? Oh, you mean that paint by numbers painting of an owl? That's Madison trying to prove she's an artist. Because all the great painters of the world started off by painting something that was already drawn, right? How long do these kind of parties last? Could I go ahead and slip out? I think everybody's seen me. Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? How's it going, brah? Any luck finding pay? Eh, maybe later, brah. I know it might not be obvious to the outsider's eye, but all of my choices, including where I am at any given time, are carefully chosen to give me the best chance of getting laid. Party 101, brah. Confucius once said, right place at the right time, you might be in for some sexy time. Or maybe that was Ron Jeremy? Doesn't matter. Stop messing with my master plan, brah. No way, brah. Thanks for tipping me. Tell me you're in the Madison Sky Animal Fad. 
Virtual reality is the future, bra. It's only a matter of time before it gets so immersive that it'll look and feel just like real life. Everybody dance now, bop, 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 bop. Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? That devil's elixir. Anybody fucking tries, and they'll be dead before their fingers touch the ball. One way I love to mess with Ashley is by finding the most god awful decor to hang up around the house. Yo, who the fuck do you think you are? Dude, I'm soaked! Hey, how's our plan going? Well, I've been exploring the world of sculptures lately. Late Renaissance period, wax museum replicas of 80s action stars, stuff like that. Something detailed. Like something you can look at for hours without minding. Say in case someone's dad needs to grab a smoke but gets distracted by older off-strip casinos. Yeah, I think I'd like to see a sculpture. Oh, and every piece of art needs a message. Yeah, a sculpture with a message. And you better be ready to present it to some of my guests in an intimate setting. Yeah, on a lit pedestal. Should be easy, right? Hey, how's our plan going? Whoa, not that it's any big deal, but yeah, my initial steps have been with the aid of pre-designed templates. Got a problem with that, Da Vinci? Thank you. I'm getting better, all right. I just had to start somewhere. It's like when I first learned to bowl, I used the bumpers. And so what if I was 20? The guy who rents out the shoes said I had the best form out of anyone. Then he grabbed my ass, which makes me think he wasn't talking about my bowling form. Hey, how's our plan going? Um, I think I'll take my chances with- Hey, how's our plan going? What the fuck, dude? I hope you don't make it a habit of asking girls you hardly know to blow you. Get a life, asshole. Okay, so here's the deal. I hope-
I meet everyone. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't get to see it, but I heard what you did to Madison. So freaking good, dude. I don't know if you can tell from my top, but I had a similar run-in with a spilled drink. Madison slipped, apparently. Thanks for getting Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? Oh, stop it. <laughs> You're funny. Hey, how's our plan going? Don't really feel like giving a tour right- Ugh, Seriously? Fine. Hey, how's our plan going? What? That fuck- Hey, any luck finding me a way to dry off? I seriously don't know what Derek was on about earlier. He was like freaking out about his cat or something. I don't know what to do. I'm not a psychopathic doctor or whatever you call those people. So I just twerked at him until he finally stopped talking to me about it. Works every time. Every single time, the same fucking song. How is it even possible that Madison only owns one song? Are we in the same kind of simulation and licensing restrictions that have kept our overlords from accessing other songs? I mean, come on! I can't remember exactly how many parties ended up with me dancing topless. Or naked, for that matter. I lost count. I just love being naked and other people seeing me. When the mood strikes me and the circumstances are just right, I have no problem stripping down. I keep getting this really weird feeling tonight like I've been here before. It's kind of hard to explain. Almost like I've seen these exact scenarios play out with slightly different outcomes. Tell me about yourself. Once I get some booze in me, there's no stopping me. I'll be the first to say it. You looked better in Alpha. I fucking hate you so much. Look, but don't touch, sweetie. Does it ever seem like you. objects around the house oh, are placed a little too strategically? Like, who keeps a cell phone jammer well, lying around? Why are there so many too. natty lights conveniently scattered around the house? I can't be the only one who feels like something's off here. You see that giant billboard that the city put up right outside of Madison's neighborhood? I can hear the drum from here. I'm gonna wrap my head in aluminum foil or something. Above the boobs. People think I'm difficult just because of my direct approach to things. I'm really very laid back. Dude, can you believe Patrick got knocked out in the middle of our party? Like, I know my cousin is an idiot dickhead perv, but Patrick means well. It's just the alcohol getting to him. I'm a teddy bear. Personally, I think it's bullshit that it's... So let me get this straight. I invite you, my friend, oh good, for art, fuck. Yeah, what's up? Dude, there's more to the- Yeah, what's up? Amy's the best. I had a few classes with her last semester. She's obsessed with that band Panic at the Disco. She freaks out anytime anybody even mentions them. Dude, there's more to this. How's it going, brah? Any luck finding painkillers? And uh, maybe later. No way, bro. Thanks for tipping me off. Only invited my friend who's known to never cause problems, ever. How's it going, bro? 
Any luck? Fine. The only marble in here is. Whoa. So they like. Every single time, the same fucking song. How is it even possible that Madison only owns one song? How's it going, brah? Any luck? The restrictions that have kept our overlords from accessing other songs? I mean, come on! A handful of hay keeps the doctor away. <laughs> and there was this one time was so bad about holding on to expired things. Just last night, I tried to order a pizza with a debit card from 2008. Even then, I didn't throw it away. I just put it in the desk. Dude, watching over this party is so fucking tiring. I pulled an all-nighter last night to watch this cam girl playing with her new titty clamps while her boyfriend railed her from behind. A fucking drain, dude. Literally. This might sound weird, but I love a man who can dance. There's something about a guy with me that really gets me going. I swept the entire house earlier and gathered up all the alcohol and put it in this cabinet so I can keep What the fuck? So you're the asshole that's been going around- Too. Just look suspicious. You're dead, asshole.